Huge thanks to Filmora Go for sponsoring this episode. And now it's time for the Filmora Go Challenge. I need to edit the best 15 second teaser trailer fan edit in 10 minutes that I can on my phone. Let's go. New project. Edit the music. Doing some old fashioned cutting. Three, four, cut. Ooh, I like these pop art stickers. Yas! Let's do a zoom effect on the beat drop. The chromatic aberration is sick. All right, time to export. Here is my 15 second teaser trailer edited with Filmora on my phone, baby. And that's it. Pretty sick, huh? Pretty crazy what you can do with this thing. This is my go-to app for any time I need to edit super quick on the go. Filmora Go iOS. Also make sure to check out Filmora Go iOS on Instagram and make sure to tag Filmora Go iOS on your videos. Oh, the frame within a frame. The blend modes. I can't believe this. Who's letting their mess be all over the place? Hi. My name is Jordan Norm. I'm a professional film editor. I've been able to edit some awesome music videos for artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga, g -E Quavo, Kalani, Sway Lee, Megan Stallion, and so many more. Welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editor Reacts, where I react to music videos from a music video editor perspective. Why haven't we done 17 on this channel yet? I don't know. 17 is one of my favorite K-pop boy groups, and they put out two bops, Fear and Hit, and I couldn't decide which one to do, but I think in 2020, at the end of the year, Christmas time, we need a little more uplifting spirits, and that's what hit provides for us. So let's get into the reaction. Oh! If you could do me a huge solid and just smash that like button right now, I'd freaking love you forever because it really helps the channel out. Smash that like button. Oh, these graphics! When you do freaking graphics, one of the best tips I could give to anybody is to create like masks right here. So we do a mask, what looks like this little graphic here is behind our boy. It just creates like a 3D feel and it just makes the graphics come to life. One thing that's really popular right now is doing stroke, which is just outlining the edge of the text instead of like filling it. And that's what I have on like my music video editor reacts thing. So it's freaking cool style. <laughs> Oh, and it's flashing it on and off. The graphics just emphasize stuff. Oh, this set! Oh, okay! I see- oh. Who edited this? Who freaking directed and edited this? I have to know. Rima Yoon. I know Rima Yoon. Wow. If you can see, now you get Tag. Oh, okay, so we take another shot. This is something I've really never seen before, but we take the shot and cut it out and then just punch into it. I kind of think it's another take, like they did a close-up, and then they just kind of match his arm motion, and when we match the motion, our like brain gets confused. Like, I'm literally, I can't tell if it's the same shot or not. But I think it's a close-up, and then we just keep punching in. <laughs> And then on the throw, we had like some distraction happening in the middle and that's a perfect time to change the aspect ratio. So you can see that before we had black bars on the top and bottom. And then when he throws it, oh, it's so good. This lens filter. Oh, oh they were talking about a bull there. Oh, there's so much happening. Okay, hold on, I'm throwing on the captions. Steelhorn buffalo, and then we show a freaking buffalo in a triangle. Just like literally just horns on a freaking C stand. A C stand is this is this stand that you can see. To see what they could see, 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 but all that they could. They literally matched two shots of this triangle light. So they have the light right there. Look at that. Ah! I'm done with this video already. Like, oh my god. This is how the editor's thinking. If you see a shape, match it to a different shot that has the same shape in it. Oh. 
<laughs> so like we have this little like filter where we're looking through a clear thing and there's a circle on it and then cut to a shot of a globe like spinning like literally just matching the triangles matching the circles creating those match cuts are freaking the best ah! circle circle Ooh. Ooh. wow screen transition I'm sorry for pausing the video so much, but I just literally have to talk about every little thing that they're doing because it's freaking amazing. Okay, watch this. Literally, it's so interesting. I'm realizing just now that shapes are like the most important design element in this video. So we had like that triangle with the bull skull. We had the circle I was talking about, and now we have a square. Like what other shape is there? I don't know, freaking trapezoid, man. People always be sleeping on trapezoids. So we have like these glass panes on the side and a bunch of boxes. So then we punch in here and fill up the green screen with a new shot. So we fill up this square, and then we fill up this square, and then we just cut to a new shot. Like, that's such a cool transition. Fill up the squares. Oh, that's sick. Wow. Another square transition. Oh my gosh. So the light goes dark, which means it's a perfect time to naturally cut. And then we cut to gray and this little box creates a frame that we cut out and we still have the old shot here and then the and then the side just slowly pull away oh that's so clean cut Sli oh come on all right we're gonna just gonna let it play for a little bit i can't do this for you oh the frame within a frame the blend modes Okay, this thing's super cool. So we have blend modes, which basically we put on like film burn or a texture, some kind of thing, and then we invert it and add these weird color effects and put it on a blend mode so we can see to the layer below it. So they probably took something like this and put it over the top and then blend mode it like this. And then you can kind of see me underneath it and it creates that really cool color effect. It's so dope. Wow. Got that digital zoom. Oh! And they're just popping off. The camera is so energetic in the dancing. Okay, did you see the light flash on that? The classic that's in literally every song ever. Watch. Watch, we gotta frame by frame this. So we got the dark scene. We're blending a few shots together because it's almost it's the same framing, so it's like a match cut. But just the flashing lights on that blah, works so well. You literally color grade it so contrasty where all you see is white and black, and so the only white parts that we see are the lights here, and then everything else is black. So it looks freaking dope. Oh, a oh, little crossfade really quick. So you can see two images at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been shot in the face by 17 and the freaking dope music video. Ow. Those graphics are so dope. Okay, so here's like a, an editorial technique that everybody can apply across the board. If you show like a flashy something between two edits, so you have one shot and then another shot and then you have a flashy something. The flashy something kind of distracts your eye really fast and it allows us to make the transition between two different just not alike scenes very smooth. So what we have is like a really bright scene and then we have a really dark scene. So to smooth out the transition, they add some graphics and a little diddly, -diddly but the graphic comes on in the black scene and then ends in the white scene and it just really smooths out and kind of melds the two shots together. So check it out. Ooh. A little camera logo. Well, another frame within the frame. Oh, yes! That is how you use a freaking blue screen! 
guys, this is getting me so hyped. I apologize for my absolute insanity, but look, they used the blue screen. Again, during that blah, we have some flashing lights and we use the blue screen to turn it into like a digital, cool, light looking lightning thing. Amazing, literally amazing. So that blue screen you use for keying and you can literally put any image on here. And that's what they did for that section. Oh, that's so cool. They mapped the shot to a flag. So we saw flags earlier. There was like a green one, I think, somewhere. But literally, what they did was went in After Effects, took the shot, and mapped it to the flag. And made it into a shot. Go on, next, your next level. Bro, 17 is crazy. Literally. Literally, stop. Oh, uh, I can't watch this anymore. This hurts me. Uh, this hurts me. This hurts my soul. I feel like I'm a terrible editor because why doesn't my work look like this? It's a really basic thing. It's like, as the drum roll builds up, the image just gets crazier. And then, when it releases, the image gets slower, but still very intense. So like, we go from fast motion to slow motion on the beat drop, really easy. Fast, chaos. Slow. And as you see how he like whipped his head like that, matching things to the snare is also very, very important when you're editing music videos. So he goes out and goes, oh, so good. The dancing is crazy. Who, oh my gosh. Did he literally just flick me? He was just like, there is, look at the flicker, there is. Did, what did he do with, with his finger? What well, hold up here? He literally flicks me. He literally was like, hit sound. <laughs> how did they make this shot? How did they make this shot? I love how they cut out right here and they have like an overlay on the top and bottom, but the middle is is still clean. So lots of times like we would put overlays over shots, but like what if, what if you cut out the middle of the overlay and it just looks so interesting? There's just so many cool ideas. And they must have had a bunch of jumps and flips on a white screen and then comp them all together in VFX here because they can't have all these people jumping at once. Number one, that's not safe. They're freaking gonna hit their heads. And number two, like, that's like not even human level. That's next, that's beyond this universe level. And they're putting it in their videos. Oh my gosh. Hit down. <laughs> The glitches. What is he wearing? Whoa. Like, look at this. So we have flashes just to match two shots together. And then we create a match cut between the white scene and the black scene. And he's wearing like a plastic mask. What does that mean? Let me know in the comments. I haven't been really paying attention to theories too much in this video. Because it's mostly a performance video. And it's just talking about having fun. But that was a crazy cool cut. Boom. It matches the music so well. Oh! They're just standing on pillars? Wow, this is super interesting. I haven't even realized this. The whole video, they haven't been really singing at all. They've just been dancing and looking freaking fly. But now is like one of the first times, I'm sure they did it before, but this is the, like the first time I'm noticing that they're singing the lyrics. But it makes sense because it's like a group gang vocal kind of thing. So they're getting everybody singing. That gives me NCT freaking 127 superhuman vibes. Like let's just frame by frame this transition and appreciate the VFX work that went into this. Like all the little elements. Frame by frame right here. They literally like turned into pieces and exploded. And then we have glitches. They glitched out the background and made it blue. That's sick. Added the triangle thing. And literally the blue got ripped off, turned into pixels, and flew off the screen. <laughs> Who made that transition, y'all? Watch this. Oh my. The background exploded because of their dancing. Ah! 
and it's still they're like okay we can step it up another level like i thought the video was gonna end it's lit all the camera okay this is what's crazy their dancing is like crazy energetic and so good but the camera is just taking it to the next level it's literally the most epic insane thing i've ever seen look at this is that like a what was that there's like sparks flying it's like i don't know what this is but whatever it is the background is just falling apart because of how insane this dance is everything's just breaking around me. but the camera's so shaky it's so just like going in and out oh, there's so much movement well i'm gonna go quit my life and work on editing for the rest of the day. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some other videos, do a ton of K-pop crazy reactions like this. So please check them out. And now it's time to freaking get out your seat right now. Get out. Are you up? Okay, good. It's time to do some. Yes! Oh my gosh, I feel so good. Okay, see you guys later. Peace out. Jesus loves you. Have a good one.